the symptoms of this problem are on your instrument cluster you'll receive a first you'll get the engine hot AC turned off and when you go to turn on your air conditioner you will get three blinks and it won't turn on uh, if it continues to happen then you'll get a check engine light I think it's a code P0128 something like that and also well when this comes on your needle on your coolant will also swing down to 160 and won't even be registering anything so we'll get along with it here okay so the way that I resolved this issue is I replaced the thermostat which is underneath this uh, this thermostat housing water neck and it has two bolts one here and one in the back they're 10 millimeter first thing you're gonna have to do is on the air intake it ducks over from the air filter brings air into the top of the intake you'll need to loosen this pipe clamp right here this hose clamp with a flat head or a uh, uh, looks like a 5 16 nut driver loosen it and lift this off of the the intake you want to make sure not to drop anything down into the motor when that's off make sure the motor is cool when you do all of this uh, for several reasons you don't want to strip out the aluminum underneath the uh, thermostat housing and also you don't want the coolant to be under pressure while you're working on it because it will spray everywhere when you pull these bolts out now once you remove these bolts this water neck will come up don't be alarmed coolant is gonna drain everywhere you can have a pan down there or work somewhere you don't mind getting messy and you'll get a new thermostat and the thermostat will look something like this okay they're designed to fail open and so that falls this one or this might have been opening early uh, and uh, and I don't see that it failed it might not have been sealing regardless of it this is what causes the issue this is your thermostat it goes into into the uh, into this aluminum housing here and it drops down just like this and it sits in there you can see it comes with a rubber gasket and you'll just pull the old one out you'll install the new one that you buy from a parts parts house and then you will reinsert uh, the housing this tube on top and then start your bolts by hand and run them down and then gently tighten them just enough so it doesn't leak you don't want to strip the threads out um, I kept this for just to explain to y'all how I did it uh, after you've done that you will need to obviously you've lost some coolant because you because you uh, open the system up so you'll need to go out and buy some 50-50 uh, uh, antifreeze coolant you want to get for a Chevy of this make and model year you want to get one that's dex cool compatible it's the reddish orange antifreeze you don't want to mix the green antifreeze with the reddish orange I know a lot of people that don't like dex cool but um, otherwise you flush the whole system uh, and put in the green antifreeze but uh, what it comes down to is if the orange one's in there then put the orange one back in if the green one's in there put the green one back in um, so you'll open this cap with the engine cool and you will fill it up to this line here this line is cold you'll need to fill it back up to here and then you'll run the engine and drive around town let it cool off and it will have sucked some of the uh, coolant back into the system and this might be a little low you might need to add a little bit more I wound up having to add about three quarters of a gallon of 50 50 pre-mixed uh, in order to solve my problem uh, uh, replace it um, that's that's about it this is a uh, this is a 4.3 liter v6 Chevy motor 
um, 2008 Silverado. Uh, another little tip is mine doesn't have a sticker anywhere showing the belt routing diagram. And so I figured I might get into a bind someday. And so if you just take your time and draw it out, the belt should only go on one way. But this is a, this is a good little tip. Just get a white paint pen and uh, draw your pulleys out there and your tensioner and uh, do it that way. I also write down the kind of filter and the kind of bit that I need for that. And uh, I actually I need to write down the, the oil filter underneath the hood and the drain plug size. That'll make it uh, easy to do that. But this fixes the issue on a 2008 Silverado work truck. Um, what it does is uh, the thermostat fails and it opens too early and so it trips a code in the computer and it says that uh, it, basically the computer doesn't trust the temperature sensor, the temperature sending unit. It thinks that it failed because after a certain length of time the motor should have heated up to operating temperature. And since it doesn't trust the sending unit any longer, it turns the fans, the electric fans on high and it turns off the air conditioner in order to reduce the load of the cooling on the motor um, so that uh, you, you won't overheat. Uh, the problem is, is that you're not actually overheating, the engine's too cool. And In fact, if you've thrown this code and you stop your car and get out and let it cool overnight and get out the next day, the first thing that happens when you turn your truck on is it says engine hot AC off. So obviously the engine's not hot, you can put your hand on it and you know you can grab every hose and surface it's it's everything's cold um, it's it's a false it's being thrown because uh, of the thermostat issue so you place, replace the thermostat it's a ten dollar part you know and it takes less than an hour to fix um, so it's worth a shot if you're having this issue you know ten dollars in an hour of your time it's worth a shot to try it out just wanted to let y'all know this is how I fixed it and um, and I've had I've had a couple more cold days, where where it was uh, cold outside, and then I ran the truck, and I haven't had the issue anymore. It's um, it's fixed it good for me, and uh, and I hope that this helps y'all. Uh, any questions? You can leave them in the comments down below, or uh, contact me uh, by PM, whatever you like. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a great day. Okay. Um... So, also, after you complete the repair, you're still going to have the check engine light code, and you'll have uh, uh, the engine hot AC turned off. You need to reset the computer, uh, and in order to do that, you can just disconnect the negative battery terminal from the battery, disconnect that, wait 15 to 20 seconds, reconnect the battery terminal. That'll reset the computer and you'll be on your way. You have to reset the computer, otherwise it uh, takes a couple tries for the computer to realize, hey, I can trust my temperature sending unit again after you make the repair. So that's an important step. It's the very last thing you need to disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery, wait 15 to 20 seconds, and then reconnect the battery cable.